we will demonstrate an engine 1 bleed fault due to an overheat condition. Let's assume you are pilot non-flying. You are in cruise flight and everything is normal. On the engine warning display, read the title of the failure. The engine 1 bleed system is faulty. On the bleed system page, which has been called automatically, the bleed air temperature is displayed amber because it is abnormally high. This is the reason for the failure. The amber fault light on the engine 1 bleed push button switch confirms the failure. The related BMC detects the overheat and has automatically closed the engine 1 bleed valve to protect the system. It leads to an abnormal bleed configuration as displayed on the engine warning display. The bleed valve is displayed amber due to the automatic closure and the bleed pressure has dropped to zero and the temperature start to decrease. The engine 1 bleed system is no longer available. The pilot flying will ask you to perform the ECAM actions. We will do it for you and we will clear the first air caution message. Then, observe the ECAM. The cross bleed valve is displayed amber during transit and in line green when fully open. The pressure and temperature values for the left side of the system are back to normal because now both sides are being supplied by engine 2. After review and confirmation by the pilot flying, you can clear the message. We will do it for you. If you need to use wing anti-ice, you will have to switch off one air conditioning pack. We will deal with this fact later. In the inoperative systems column, engine 1 bleed is listed. After review and confirmation by the pilot flying, you can remove status page. ECAM action completed. Now we will see what happens if you have to use wing and de-ice with the engine 1 bleed still inoperative. Let us assume you encounter icing conditions during the remaining part of your flight and you decide to switch on your wing and de-ice. We will do it for you. The engine 1 bleed fault procedure is automatically recalled on the engine warning display. 
This is because one engine bleed system is not sufficient to supply wing and de-ice and both air conditioning packs in the same time. The ECAM procedure requires that you switch pack one off. Note, for more information about the packs, refer to ATA 21 Air Conditioning Chapter. The pilot flying will ask you to perform the ECAM actions. We have switched pack 1 to off for you. After review and confirmation by the pilot flying, we will clear the message. On the status page, pack 1 has been added to the inoperative systems column. After review and confirmation by the pilot flying, you can remove status page. For training purposes, to teach you more about the pneumatic system, we will continue by adding another failure to your previous configuration. This will be a left wing leak. On the engine warning display, read the title of the failure. On the SD, the ECAM bleed page is automatically presented, and, on the air panel, the indications from the previous failure remain unchanged. The title of the failure indicates that, an ambient overheat, in the vicinity, of the left wing hot air ducts, has been detected. The left side of the bleed system has to be shut down in order to prevent any damage from leaking hot air. That leads to an abnormal bleed configuration, as indicated on a second line of the engine warning display. The first action to do is to clear the first caution message. We will do it for you. The first line of the ECAM procedure requires you to switch the cross bleed selector to the closed position. With the selector in auto position, the cross bleed valve would have been closed automatically but remember, you have opened it manually in the previous procedure. The pilot flying will ask you to perform the ECAM actions. We have set the cross bleed selector to close for you. Observe the indications. The cross bleed valve closes. The pressure of bleed system 1 returns to zero, and, since there is no hot air supplied, the left wing anti ice valve indication becomes amber. For additional information, refer to ATA 30, Ice and Rain Protection Chapter. We will do the next step of the procedure for you. The wing and de-ice was switched off because you do not want to de-ice one wing only. The ECAM advises you to avoid icing conditions for the remaining part of the flight. After review and confirmation from the pilot flying, you can clear the message. We will do it for you.
The status page also informs you that you have to avoid icing conditions. The wing anti-ice and APU bleed have been added to the inoperative systems column. The engine 1 bleed and pack 1 remain from the previous failure. After review and confirmation from the pilot flying, you can remove status page. We will now briefly look at several abnormals without performing the procedures to see the remaining indications of the pneumatic system. In normal operation, when you use APU bleed, the cross bleed valve automatically opens. If it fails to open, an ECAM caution is triggered and the cross bleed valve is displayed cross line amber to indicate disagreement. Conversely, if the cross bleed valve fails to close in automatic mode, for example after the APU bleed has been switched off, it is displayed in line amber accompanied by an ECAM caution.